Hey guys, how are you? I'm really excited to be able to deliver this particular module to you. Uh, it comes at a very crucial time because by now you're starting to want to create the conversions and the leads and use the messaging that you've been creating. Now, the key thing here is to know that sometimes what we can do is we can assume that our landing pages aren't working and blame the landing page when essentially we might have sent the wrong kind of traffic, uh, the wrong kind of people to the landing page uh, and potentially even at, at the wrong time. Uh, now, I'm not going to get too much into it right now, but I wanted to give you some an overview of what we'll be covering in this module because this one is a critical one. We're going to be looking at the some potential sources of traffic uh, on social media, as well as ads, how to make great ads. We're going to be looking at how to make a great landing page, even how to make a great lead magnet. Uh, a great content offer. And the reason why we're doing all this is we're kind of co-joining two realms of marketing. There's the traffic, the sources, but then also what happens to the traffic once they get to your website. So we've talked about partnerships, LinkedIn, we've talked about organic, and we even brainstormed some ways uh, well, we looked at ways to brainstorm how to create uh, a range of Google ads that are going to be uh, specific and targeted, yet diverse enough to test different options to find the best performing headlines, descriptions uh, to make a super ad. We've talked about some ways to bring traffic from partnerships, bring traffic from LinkedIn into Facebook ads. Uh, so now let's talk about how we convert the traffic when it gets there and how we make the most of those sources because traffic by itself is what we call a vanity metric. So let's take a look at how we convert right now. So now let's talk about how do we make a magnet, a lead magnet that's going to be absolute magic for converting our prospects. Let's start with this worksheet. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to name your lead magnet. Okay, a lead magnet is a piece of content that you offer in exchange for your uh, the, tra the user's details, personal details, first name, last name, email, typically maybe a mobile number. Uh, but you want to create a lead magnet that's going to work. And there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. How do you know if a lead magnet's going to work? Well, let's start by naming it. So let me go the 10 commandments of Google ads. Give it a really sexy title, something that uh, people go, yeah, I want that. Uh, if, if, if you're not sure, uh, ask a customer. If, if you were to look, at, see this headline for a lead magnet or an offer on my site, would you be interested? Ask the client. Getting that feedback is really helpful. Uh, but think about what they actually want. What are they looking for? Uh, for me, I know that a lot of business owners are running their own Google ads, and the fear is that they're probably not doing as good a job as they, uh, they could be. They're missing some professional tricks, and as a result, they're wasting money. So uh, I might call it the 10 commandments of Google ads. I might call it the 10 golden rules of Google ads. Uh, the 
10 ways to, to not waste money on Google ads. You get the point. I'm just going to call it 10 commandments for now, uh, just because it's quick and easy, but you can uh, think of your own. How does it help? My 10 commandments Google ads helps small business owners maximize their Google ads investment, okay? To go from, go from wasting money to doubling leads in 30 days. Cool. So you can see it's a, it's a compelling offer because it's very, it says the promise, uh, it, and it gives it a, a really appealing time frame. And uh, you should do the same thing too. Now, if you think about how, uh, how long a lead magnet could take to consume, you've got two scales, long and quick. Uh, and if you can think about topics for a lead magnet, you've got boring versus epic. Uh, an example of boring is something super technical that uh, nobody cares about. Uh, so boring could be uh, how to manage bids in Google Ads using day parts. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. <laughs> and if you do care about that, uh, you're probably not going to spend a lot of time reading an ebook about it. You probably invest quite heavily on becoming a Google Ads ed expert. But let's face it, business owners are too busy to become too deep of an expert in any of these marketing things. It's, it's all about the strategy, the overall picture. Somebody else is an expert in that, that we can pay to do it. Uh, then you've got Epic. So let me give you uh, an example of what happens when something is quick to consume, like 15 minutes or less. Okay. So that's the example 15 minutes or less to consume. If it's quick and if it's boring, uh, <laughs> it's a waste of time. Okay. Uh, if it's it's basically a trap. Oh, let's call it this. It's it's crap. It's quick. It's boring, and uh, it's <laughs> it's it's not a lot of content, not a lot of substance, and really rubbish substance. Uh, if it's long and boring, uh, it's going to put you to sleep. It's a nap, right? Uh, if it's epic and takes a long time to consume like uh let's say uh course okay it's epic content loads of value um and it's completely free loads of value but takes a really long time to get through and most people aren't going to sit through all of that there's a bit of a gap there's a gap because uh good value but the time gap the time it's going to take to consume it uh, makes people feel like I want to, but I'm not there. So that's a gap. Okay, so not great. Epic and quick. Snap. You want snappy content. Uh, that's why I say 10 commandments of Google Ads because it, it's quick and it's pretty epic because it's going to deliver a lot of value really fast. So you obviously want to be in this quadrant. You want something that's quick and Epic. Now, how do you build a landing page for it? Here's what you do. You, uh, and by the way, I have this as a WordPress template. I have it as a HubSpot template. I have it as, uh, and if you're using automation agency, you can literally send them the link and say, here, build this. And that's completely cool with me. Uh, I even provide you, if you really want, I can provide you with uh, the WordPress page so that they can just duplicate it for you. Um, but it's built on this framework here. Big picture, what the offer is, this is called the fold. Uh, without needing to scroll, everything above the fold is on screen. 
and uh, it should communicate really quickly what the user is getting. Then there's a bio that credentializes the writer, i.e. you. Four forces statement, if you were to think about what is the immediate pain that people would feel if they didn't uh, download this, what's the immediate frustration, what is the long-term pain of uh, not fixing the problems that this lead magnet solves, uh, it could be a fear. And the converse of that is what are the quick benefits that they'll get out of it and what is the long-term benefit that they'll get out of it okay so that's the four forces so the uh magnet mock-up you always want to show them what they're getting if you can make it look like a physical object for some reason the human brain uh attributes more value to physical objects that's why even software companies that uh distribute their software virtually by downloads still have a box shot a shot of the software in a box because we ascribe value to physical objects so if you have a lead magnet that's a guide or a six page page guide or something like that make it look like a physical book because it'll seem more valuable uh, to your user so have your magnet mock-up right here have the words free download or free guide or free whatever it is, but have the word free. So there's, you're stacking up value as quickly as you can. The headline is what the magnet is, just the name of the magnet. So 10 commandments of Google Ads. The subcopy under that headline is the why and how long it'll take to read it. So you're saying why it's epic and how it's quick, okay? So notice what you're doing. You're telling them the name of it, really sexy title, uh, what it is that you're going to cover, and like as in the, the value, and which is the, the uh, epicness, and how quick it is going to be to consume, and a button. And the button is... Uh, going to have a pop-up form. Why don't you just put the form right there and then and there? Because the feeling you want the user to have is that they're getting way more value than you're asking back of them. If they see the value here, uh, here, sorry, and then a stack of questions, the value equation in their head is this for this, uh, maybe not. But if they just see a button, they think, easy. They click it, up comes the form, and they fill out the form. If you can't do a pop-up, that's fine. Have as few forms, as few form fields as possible uh, showing then and there. Stick to what you really, really need. Uh, if you don't need a last name, don't ask for a last name. If you do, then ask for it. But stick to as little as possible. Um, the, as little information as you need, like the core, just focus on what you really, really need to take them to the next step. It might be a mobile number, okay? Have your bio. You wrote a mini manifest, a manifesto before previously in your why, what, how in the value radar. So just do a summarized version here. Your why as a business owner, why it is you do what you do, uh, what you do, and how you do it, okay? Now, coming over here, in this short da 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 lead magnet, I'll show you how to why. Uh, so that's your subhead here when they scroll down. And then you list your four forces. It could be positives, it could be negatives. Uh, just list your four most impactful uh, reasons to get the ebook or the download or whatever. Okay. I just forgot one little thing here. You want to have some reassurance that their data is safe with you. So have a little privacy clause, clause like uh, we promise not to do anything evil with your email address or whatever. So you're removing that last little bit of resistance. Now, if somebody needs more background and more substance, they can look at the four forces and they can look at your bio. 
And if they're still not convinced, you go for the killer one line sentence, the last thing that you're going to tell them right down here. And it's the no bullshit emotional trigger. Uh, so, you know, this is where you just cut all the fluff because they're down there, they've scrolled this far, and you just said, if you, if you don't do this, you're going to get X, or it's time to get this benefit. You know, just go for the, uh, the jugular, <laughs> the emotional lever, just really yank on it hard because they're about to leave anyway. They've scrolled to the very bottom, they're just reading, 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 and this is your time to repeat the exact same form as you had at the top repeat it so if you can think about uh how people think either with their head or their heart up here you're talking mostly head you're being uh rational down here you're going straight for the heart uh and so it's your last opportunity to convert them now this is going to help you get up and running really quick so what can you do right now like right now what can you do you can use this ad template to make your first LinkedIn ad, your first Facebook ad, your first Twitter ad, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to take you through the, this format in this really simple way to create an ad, okay? You've got your landing page, you've got your magnet. Test one image with just the magnet and test one image with the magnet and a photo of the author, i.e. you or whoever wrote it, okay? Now coming up here, start with a question uh, because it's, the, the question is going to arrest attention. So, uh, you know, are you wasting money on Google Ads? All right, now here, in the rapport building, it's about the four forces. You're using the word discovery or this amazing thing or benefit that they're about to get from digesting the ad one and clicking the ad. So a good place to start is to use the four forces statements in your ad. Simple, right? So you're not reinventing the meal, the, the wheel, <laughs> reinventing the meal. You're not reinventing the wheel. You're reinforcing the message over and over and over again. Uh, then you add a little bit of time sensitivity, like for this week only, or hurry, limited time offer, or whatever it is that just adds some time sensitivity, like this won't be available forever. Just add something with a time limit because human beings are human beings and they'll put it off to later unless you tell them not to. And then finally, have a URL, but use a URL shortener, like bit.ly.com uh, or Pixelme. Just, it takes a really long URL and it makes it very short. Okay, so do that. Right here, list your magnet name, call it what it is, whatever your sexy magnet name is. Tell them the supporting benefit. Look at that, you did that here. So. What they see in the ad when they click, they see the same thing uh, on the landing page. So it removes the message disconnect and it amplifies your conversion and makes sure your conversion is really solid. And then if the ad allows you have another sneaky URL in here, like some Facebook formats allow you to do. Now that's it. We have covered a, a absolute ton of content. Uh, has been phenomenal and huge. Uh, I know there's a lot in there. There is there is a lot of content in there. Uh, and if any of it, if you need help with any of it, just shoot a message to me. Um, I'd be more than willing to help. But it's really important to not only consider the source of the traffic, but also what you do with the traffic once it gets there. Because the two go hand in hand. You need to know whether the traffic was good by checking the conversions and uh, there's no point getting traffic if you don't have a chance to convert them. So uh, I had a great time doing this. It was heaps of content, heaps of things to try, but uh, the three things that you can do right now is one, decide what your magnet's going to be. Two, build a landing page using the template. 
Okay, you could do that in a day. And three, write the ad. And that ad could be done in a day also. If you've got your messaging set up, it could be done in 10 minutes. Okay, so that is sources. I, uh, I've had a great time with you. I really hope to see you in the next course. Uh, I'm sure I will. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, make sure you shoot me a message and uh, I'll be sure to help you. Thanks guys. Ciao for now.